Good week and Philippines, this is Mike Padua once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Saturday through Monday, October 10 to 12, 2020. And this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. And we are sorry for not uh, uh, giving you the broadcast last night as we are quite busy yesterday but we are here to give you a special analysis for this weekend and this is valid through monday so let's begin here's the latest graph set today saturday until tomorrow sunday we have the once active lba 92w which we uh, mentioned uh, three days ago that it might develop into a tropical depression once it reaches the West Philippine Sea or South China Sea, and it did, and it's already outside of power. This is tropical depression 17W, and it's currently embedded within an active monsoon trough, and this uh, system is expected to make landfall over Vietnam within the next uh, 24 hours, and as you can see, it still enhances the uh, southwest monsoon although this is the uh, late effects of the monsoon and in the next few weeks it will start to wane down as you can see also that the northeasterly surface wind flow is quite strong right now a precursor of the uh, northeast monsoon so this wind system will uh, prevail for the next couple of days because of this other LPA which formed just to the east of Luzon near the east coast of uh, Kasiguran. So this is a shallow LPA and expected to traverse northern Luzon within the next 12 to 36 hours. So uh, lots of thunderstorms will still persist across most parts of the country particularly over Luzon because of the of the passage of this shallow LPA and it is also expected to intensify into tropical depressions once it reaches the uh, South China Sea or West Philippine Sea. So uh, the reason behind why most of the uh, low pressure system develops over the Philippines or west of the Philippines is because of the prevailing La Nina uh, light to moderate La Nina phenomenon. That's why we could see lesser development to the east of the Philippines. Although we have a shallow LPA, another shallow LPA, the second one, over Palau, which is still quite disorganized, but we are going to keep an eye on the system with the European model showing a uh, active or strong LPA traversing Samar and Bicol region on Wednesday. So we are going to uh, take a, a close watch on this system Let's open pray it won't intensify into a tropical depression once it traverses uh, summer and Bicol. But the possibility of intensifying west of the Philippines it remains high because of, the, like I said, the La Nina phenomenon. And uh, there's also another one here near Guam, a shallow LPA, but it's not expected to intensify. And so far, that's the latest from our graph set. So the northeasterly surface wind flow will prevail across the extreme northern Luzon, Batanes, Babuyan, while the uh, monsoon trough across Luzon, Mindanao, and Visayas will be under the influence of the uh, convective localized uh, thunderstorms. So it's not there's no major weather system affecting these areas, while. Uh, Palawan and Kalayana Island Group will be under the effects of the uh, last hurrah of the Habagat, Southwest Monsoon. Okay, so it will be uh, windy and uh, some big waves over these areas and as well as over extreme northern Luzon because of the northeasterly surface wind flow. And as uh, we speak of Chan Hom, it's already uh, uh, moving towards the east. Uh, already just a tropical storm winds of 85 kph and it is expected to dissipate over this area to the south of Japan within the next uh, uh, three to five days but so far it's been encountering some cold winds from the northeast because of the stationary front okay and uh, that's the latest for graph set let's take a look at our fast animation there you can see here the uh, tropical depression moving fast towards the eastern coastline of Vietnam and the shallow low pressure area quite disorganized making landfall 
probably to make landfall within the next few hours across uh, Aurora and Northern Luzon. So there's still uh, some thunderstorms here. And a shallow, another shallow one here over uh, Palau area, but we are going to keep an eye on this uh, next system. And uh, Chan Hom right there. Here's our zoom in satellite animation, so you can see the, clearly see the disorganized circulation of the shallow LPA here. And uh, TD17W there. While uh, let's change the uh, settings, so this is the infrared, so lots of thunderstorms across most parts of the Philippines. This is the uh, global models on these two tropical cyclones so this is uh Chanhom. it will move south and southwest but it will uh, dissipate over to the sea southeast of Okin okinawa and this is td17w might uh, make landfall over vietnam with the next 12 to 24 hours so nothing serious across the philippines uh, the lpa here is not yet on the model charts and as we look at our two-day rain and uh, wind forecast, including pressure forecast, so by tomorrow afternoon, the shallow LPA will reorganize or emerge re over the West Philippine Sea, likely to become a tropical depression once it exceeds the par, or if it will uh, intensify within par, it might be named Nika. While uh, some southwesterly uh, monsoon, monsoonal flow affecting. Uh, Northern Palawan, uh, Mindoro, and some thunderstorms here. Here's the another LPA, another shallow one. Probably the next candidate, it will be known as 93W, another LPA coming. And on Monday, here's the other LPA. It's still uh, disorganized. And here's the LPA, the shallow one, which traversed Northern Luzon. Uh, on Sunday and on Monday it will be uh, likely to become a tropical depression as it approaches northern Vietnam so far that's the latest from our uh, three-day or two-day rain wind and pressure forecast from ECMWF or the subwindy.com so there you go that's the latest for uh, this weekend Saturday through Monday and we'll be returning again on Monday to give you more updates for on the weather situation around the Philippine Islands and nearby areas. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Happy weekend to all. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And thank you for watching our YouTube channel.